time after time with one man after another, I'd find myself engaged in endless conversations, practicing the art of spinning circles around them, in part due to my stubborn inability to admit anything other than the most incriminating. And I will admit everything. Few men actually want as much revealed. I'll admit everything except that I'm wrong, except that I'm guilty. Oh, I know I've been wrong on any number of things in many given circumstances, but I'd never admit it, ever. And I'm sure I am guilty of just about everything, of breaking every rule and law and almost all of the Ten Commandments, but I never felt guilty, ever. I've been called insane, a sociopath, out of my fucking mind, a lunatic, deranged, demented, heartless, a bitch, cunt, slut, whore, manic, schizophrenic, paranoid, an evil, cold, calculating, alien robot. All by men that loved me, or said they did, or thought they did, but they never ever really knew me. They didn't know the real me. They only knew so much. They would only knew what I'd let them know. Eventually, I started to become frightened of my own libido. My sexual urges were like a beast forever banging on the door. And I continued to seek out nameless faceless strangers, hoping to find one, ten, a hundred who could quell the sickening hunger, who could quench an unbearable thirst, who could abate this exhausting search for other, another, more. And I longed to escape. I longed to escape the perimeter of this fleshy prison to disappear into milky nimbus, blurry-eyed, light-headed. I longed for a permanent amnesia, a catatonia, which foregoes responsibility, because responsibility is the enemy of freedom. I wanted to erase dreams, memory, vision, to ultimately forget every word, every face, every nightmare, every fuck. But I couldn't. I can't. I had to deprogram myself from myself. I had to reinvent rituals of purification. I was so full of the vagrant pollution of others that it was time to detox, not only from drugs or alcohol and sex, but from the needy leeches who came to me to swab their sores, from my own needy lechery. I had to locate the center wound and cauterize. I had to undo the original sin, the origin of so many of our feminine sicknesses. I had to learn how to replace them, it, hurt, want, anger, sorrow, bitterness, hatred with power, with healing, with fulfillment, with satisfaction, my own satisfaction. feed into you what you need. The need becomes an impossible irritant.